Hello guys, Emmanuel from Geekception here and hope you're doing awesome today. Now today I shall be doing a tour of Android P on the Sony Xperia XZ2. Let's begin. And welcome back guys. Now, when Google released Android P just a little over a week ago, I, you know, thought it was only going to be on Pixel devices like almost all releases, but surprisingly, due to Project Treble, which demoed with Android 8, now we can actually have, you know, a software, beta software immediately, Google releases it. And today I'm just going to be showing you my experience with the Android P on the Sony Xperia XZ2, what I like, what I do not like, the new changes, as well as some bugs that I've noticed. Starting with the interface, and the interface here is stock Android and not any Sony skin. There is no Sony apps preloaded here and all the Sony specific features are absent. Starting off with the first big noticeable change to Android P is a new multitasking gesture. Now it is a two-step gesture with one first bringing up the multitasking while the second one brings up the app drawer. Talking about the launcher and the launcher here is called Quick Step. It's not the Pixel launcher or the Sony launcher either. Now that is a perfect segue into letting you know that there's rarely any Sony enhancement here again. For all intents and purposes purposes, this is stock Android. The home button here also doubles as a switcher for apps, depending on how fast or slow you drag it. In the multitasking menu, tapping on the app icon gives you options for either the app info or split screen. Now the camera interface here on the XZ2 is still very bare bones with no options for slow motion or HDR in fact, or any of Sony's enhancements, again, for a third time. Shutter speed here is a little faster than Oreo though. Now I took some camera samples, both photos and videos in the day and at night. Check them out. So this is the front camera test on the Android P beta on the XZ2 here and yes it is quite dark not that on the XZ2 on Android Oreo was any better but even here it's even more worse without any of Sony's enhancements as you guys can see I'm walking into the light now I have like my headphones blaring full music in my ears so uh, I might be shouted I do not know but yes that has been the back one I'm going to flip to the uh, back camera I mean that has been the front uh, forgive me and you guys can actually see uh, the back performance without the stabilization and anything it's really really bare bones and I've switched to the back camera now and while uh, Sony is not the best when it comes to low light performance it is even worse here without any of the seemingly uh, you know stabilization features that seem to come with uh, you know uh, Sony software, but it's not actually not as bad as I thought it would it's not definitely as uh, You know uh, what do you call it processing like with dynamic range and all of that But it's still not the worst I would say on taking a you know second look at it. So yeah uh, Camera here is still really really bare bones interface is really bare bones as well and You know if you rely on this as your day-to-day -day, uh, You know daily driver, maybe you want to hold off for a while and uh, this is the back camera test of the XZ2 on Android P right now so it's really really hot not sure if you guys can feel that but yeah just uh, walking now uh, came to buy some things you know bread and that margarine butter going to make uh, some nice toast but yeah this is the sample and as for stabilization you guys can let me know if you think it's as stabilized as it is on Android Oreo and I'm going to be switching to the front camera now and this is the front camera now I'm just heading home uh, I'm not sure about the quality I'm going to have to bring this to the computer first but this is the video sample so I'm just going to be walking 
from the relative shade into the oh my god it's so fucking hot Malaysia uh, you know like people have this misconception that because I come from Africa it must be like hot as shit but it's not like this this is fucking hot but anyways yes that has been the camera test both front and back I'm going to try to get a few more photos and I'm going to be wrapping up this test and welcome back from the, the camera test and something I noticed was that there was minimal post processing which I guess is to be expected because I would like to think the you know processing engine here is not Sony's so it doesn't make use of all of their enhancements even though yeah we all know that I would rather prefer Google Pixel camera. And talking about Pixel camera, the first thing I did when I got, you know, Android P on the XZ2 was to install Anova's uh, mod. And to my disappointment, and if you are a Sony user in recent years, you would understand my disappointment too. It did not work. So even upon the fact that this is stock Android, apparently camera 2 API is still not enabled here, which sucks balls because the camera here, amazing, the hardware, software, trash just hot trash now unlike android p on the pixel 2 and pixel 2 xl there's no ai assisted battery function on here on the xz2 and it is completely stock which means you do not get sony's uh, battery enhancement either and battery actually took a hit since i installed android p i would say it's about 70 percent of what i was getting on oreo some bugs i've noticed while using uh, android p on the xz2 here is that the fingerprint scanner and the dedicated camera button sometimes when the screen is off they just simply do not work i have to first wake up the phone before it is then recognized and even then it's not all the time also i also noticed that some apps are not yet supported though I, i'm not sure it's a problem with the sony xz2 i think it's just with android p and some just refuse to just open and that has pretty much been my experience with android p on the sony xperia xz2 now i've really enjoyed using it yes it is still buggy but I even like the fact that I have the privilege to use a buggy software because if it were before, I would need to have a Nexus, which RIP, or a Pixel device, which here in Malaysia, there is no Pixel. So it's very, very nice to see that Project Treble has made sure that we that have devices that, you know, are there to Project Treble can actually flash this on day one. And this was actually very challenging to flash at the beginning because the software just did not recognize it. I even went to XDA forums, I went to the Sony Xperia forums and it took, you know, flashing the European version first, then from the European version, then I was able to, the software was able to, a very, very long process. If you're interested in how to flash it on your own exit 2 let me know and I can make that video actually like, I have the script. The script I'm using for this video actually includes how to flash that, but I thought it was going to be too long, so I decided to just make like my experience and my opinion kind of a video. I'm very excited to see what Android P is going to bring. I hope it brings some standardization to that multitasking gesture because almost all manufacturers, Android manufacturers, uh, mind you, that implement it have vastly different ways of implementing it. Anyways, that's basically been it. Thank you so much for watching. It's still a bummer, coming back to my opinion, that Camera 2 API is not enabled it really really sucks believe me as someone who really loves the xz2 but i would not touch the camera uh, it really sucks that they did not enable it here please sony please enable camera 2 api your cameras are really good and yes i i think rant over thank you so much for watching thank you so much uh i shot a documentary on the xz2 that's on android oh not on android p i think i'll be releasing that video next week it's about my journey to running 1000 kilometers hope you stick around for that talking about sticking around hope you're subscribed if you're not subscribe hit that bell icon make sure you're you know get all the latest that comes out here i hit that like button and even more importantly make sure you take care of your awesome wonderful amazing self i shall catch you next time don't forget to be awesome bye